According to the constitution of Chad, the president of the National Assembly is supposed to have taken over after the death of the president. However, the country's military has decided that it will rule for a year and a half before elections. It has reportedly closed the country's borders and imposed a night curfew. The African Union only supports change of power through elections. In the history of the African Union, a similar incident happened in 2005 in Togo. After the death of President Nasingbe Eyadema, the Togolese armed forces proclaimed his son the head of state. The AU condemned this as an unconstitutional leadership and demanded that Togo be suspended from AU activities until it held constitutional transfer of power through elections. Other countries that have been condemned by the African Union for military takeover of governments include Egypt, Mali, Burkina Faso and Sudan. On Somalia, the AU Peace and Security Council has asked that the conflicting factions in the country engage in dialogue to solve the existing political rift. It says it is ready to facilitate this. Somalia is in a crisis as President Mohamed Famajo faces criticism over a new decision by the Somali lower house of parliament to extend his term for two more years. The country was supposed to go to the polls this year. The upper house of parliament, former presidents, opposition parties and citizens have termed this as unconstitutional, prompting a new security threat in the country. The United Nations members have also opposed this extension. Colette Anjohi, SABC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.